Well, the time here is just before five o'clock and we're just starting our hike uh, towards Half Dome. So it's about a 16 mile in total, a day anywhere between about 10 to 12 hours. So yeah, nice and nice start. We're starting off at our campsite, which is Curry Village, which is also known as Half Dome Village. Then we're going on to the trailhead itself. This is the trailhead for the mist trail that we're taking, crossing over the Vernal Falls footbridge, upwards to Vernal Falls, then across to Nevada Falls, passing over that, uh, along to Little Yosemite Valley, and then of course, uh, finishing off by going up the sub dome of Half Dome to the Half Dome summit. Well, on the trail, let's hit the first people here. Well, there's people ahead of us. It's still nice and dark, but about another six hours walking to go. Well, it's just nearly 6 a.m. We're heading towards Vernal Falls. Sun's just in the shot up out of nowhere. Well, I think it's the Vernal Fall footbridge. Just made it here. Last time we were here, it was about midday, and there was about 100 tourists on the bridge taking selfies. Hi. So it's nice to have it to yourself for a change. Well, the six mile till we make it a half dome. the top of Vernal Falls. Well, it's about half past nine. So it turns out that little sticky out bit just there is actually half dome. Not that one which I thought before. This is probably about another five, five and a half miles to go, but Hi. making it. That's Nevada Falls. So we'll be crossing by that on the way to Half Dome. Just about another five, maybe four and a half miles to the Half Dome. And time is just gone seven o'clock. up at the top of Nevada Falls and the sun's finally upon us so it is 20 past eight
once you once you get through the pain barrier, that's a really, really nice hike. It is, isn't it? Nice hike with giant pine cones. <laughs> I really wanted to camp up here, so if we'd got wilderness permits, we would have been camping in this valley and we would have just done half drum in the morning. What would have been hiking all our stuff up, right? Well, just a tent. Mm, true. Coming up half nine and half dome seems to be so close, but it's taking quite the effort to get there. How are you doing, Lisa? Hey! Still alive. About 2,100 meters now above sea level, which is like six and a half thousand feet. We've still got a ways to go. Probably like another two hours to get up there. Maybe just in there. It's almost 10 o'clock now. o'clock and we came at the base of Half Drum. Here's Lisa. Say hi Lisa. Hi Lisa. Views so far are pretty spectacular but apparently the a gazillion times better when you get to the top so so we keep on beasting it. We're almost there. That's off to him just up ahead, climbing straight up there to the top. Slip for the challenge. Do you think it kind of looks like the mountain that the Grinch lived in? Find the Grinch. Yeah, sorry, I'm just really slow. That's how I feel. <laughs> At least the cables anyways. So this is the last little stretch until we make it to the top. If we make it to the top. So we've basically got these this cable that I hold on to. And there's planks of wood every what like two or three meters. And apparently halfway up. That's like it's really steep and some plank missing. So yeah, hopefully the next little clip will be us at the very top, having made it in one piece. Well, I'm all the way up, I have done cables, and unfortunately I've lost Lisa, she's down there. It's actually really fucking scary. But apparently the view is worth it at the top, so let's go up and out. I made it to the top of half dome. 
some people at the bottom very kindly give us very kindly give us some uh, gloves. They just work my gloves, but actually saved a life up there. Uh, yeah, fuck me, that was quite a hike. I think how's the time? It is wait for it, wait for it. Fucking hell, 20 past one. So about an hour and a half later than what we wanted to be. But still have made it in one piece. Um so that means it took us about let's see seven and a half hours to get up here. But it's gonna be a lot faster on the way back down. So yeah, get back. Get a shower, eat a shitload of carbs, shitload of pizza, drink a shitload of beer, and then go in the pool, I think. So I'm going to this little summity bit here, because nobody else is here. Now I'm going to jump across to the other side. Huh. I'm not dead. Do, 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 do. I'm not dead. Do, 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 do. I'm not dead. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. That song is made up. Um, so I wonder if we can see the village was there. So, you can see something that looks as what could be a village or a little settlement of sorts. Uh, let's see where we are on the map. There's half dome. Okay, yeah, so actually I'm looking down Yosemite Valley at the moment. So that's where we're staying at uh, Half Dome Village, also known as Curry Village. And I don't know if you can see it, it's just down there. I'm pretty sure I can want to get closer, but I don't want to fall off the cliff. <laughs> That'll be funny. At least I've been waiting a very long time for me to turn back up. But uh, just let's see, just about here, you can see there's like a little visitor center, some car parking along here. That's the valley over there, and I believe El Capitan is that one. I think. Yeah, and there's a little house or something just on that cliffside, just over like here. Wonder who lives there. It's not me. Right, I'm gonna go to the tallest bit and then start the descent before it starts thundering. So, we're mainly so we're gonna make it to the top. We're gonna have a little bit of whiskey to celebrate, but it's just me with some hip flask of Canadian whiskey. So, I have two little shots. One for me and one for Lisa. One. A. Two. A. And I also bought a lollipop for 99 pence from the grocery store at Yosemite Valley. It's all of that too. Two. Onwards to a bit. So, summit is 2,700 meters, which is just shy 9,000 foot. And here we are. Totally worth it, right? Don't drop it. Oh my god. Right. There's your Semini village again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So we actually started our walk about 
eight hours ago, just there, which is about, about eight miles walk, which managed to take us eight hours, nearly, just shy of eight hours. It's like a mile an hour. It's pretty fucking slow. But hey, we made it. Hi, so I made it halfway up there and then had to turn round because so I freaked quarter, out. So quarter dome, right? Shut up. Oh, well, I suppose. <laughs> it's quarter dome. <laughs> I think that this needs to be celebrated too, so cheers. Hey. <laughs> Funny. Funny. <laughs> well, just leaving half dumb. Which actually looks quite small from here. Hi. But today has been the most strenuous day hike I've ever done. I made it halfway up those cables. And then there's a really big section. Where there's a missing plank and it's very vertical. Freaked out and had to turn around. However, look at this view. I think I've done well. And I think this should also be celebrated. That's pizza. Pizza and pint. Beginning our descent from Grinch Mountain. I'm having pizza for tea. Okay. I'm getting a large one to myself. Can you tell? Yeah. Well, you're not. Hmm, why not? <laughs> I got two large ones. Well, I won't eat a full large one. True. So just get a large one to share, man. Then if you're still hungry, we can get something else. Is rather back to the village. Don't get pine cones like that back home. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Well, I think we've been walking now for like two hours. No sign of the end. We're both exhausted and we've run out of water. I think Lisa's got a tiny little bit of water left. But we're probably going to die up here, to be honest. I think we'll die up here. Oh well. <laughs> Kid out to the max. Um, I'll survive. Say hi to the folks at home. Hi folks at home. Did they just hear me describing how I like the sound people? Hi. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well. We have found the river. So we can refill our water supplies here. That's it, we're not gonna die of dehydration today. Which is nice to know.
for a shoulder water supply at the river. Don't think we're going to die anymore. Oh, I have got plenty more miles to go yet. So we could die on the way back, to be honest. Could be eaten by a bear. Or starvation. Have to eat each other. Lisa? Yeah? Lisa? Hi, what? Stinks. Ha 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 ha. I am so also, bored. <laughs> Fancy going to Witherspoons and just going bananas. Getting like two, two main courses each. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 I think we're going to die in this forest, you know. It's like, I didn't think you were suffering. I'd be having a fit. Going around and go, go, Ma, there's no, there's no, there's no. I'm suffering real bad. What? I'm dying. So just here, going over, is Half Dome, so that's where we've just come from, which was a fucking nightmare. Uh, yeah, and then there's the final little bit of daylight for the day. Hopefully we'll make it home before it's dark. Another quick refill at the top of Vernal Falls. Last point before we finished, and we're back at our little base camp in there. Uh, Yosemite Village or Half Dome Village. Hi. This will do me actually. Last time we were here about two years ago, I got an amazing photo of Vernal Falls just here with a rainbow in front of it. Created obviously by the sun and uh, the spray of the waterfall. But we missed the sun this morning, it was too dark, hadn't been sunrise yet, and I've missed the sun coming down. Uh, so, yeah, no rainbow this time. We left camp this morning when it was pitch black. I think we'll get, be getting back to camp as well when it's pitch black. But it's a day well spent. We'll leave before sunrise and get home after sunset. I made it back and eating some pizza. Oh. Hiya, good morning. So, we are two days after our half dome hike and it was an absolute killer. Yesterday, 
we had to have a complete rest day because both of us could barely move our legs to walk down the steps from our cabin. We're talking three steps here. So the whole hike in total, total of 16 miles from Curry Village to the top of Half Dome and back down again, gaining 4,000 feet in elevation and then losing it on the descent. I've got to say I personally found the descent worse. These knees are not cut out for that. It took us about 16 hours in total. Set off at half five in the morning and got back to camp just after nine. So today, I thought it would be a good idea to give the legs a good workout, just to try and get back on track. So, we're hiking to Mare Lake. It's a nice little seven hour round trip. And then we're gonna go back to Nile Lake, have a swim and cook some tea on the beach. Have a bit chilled. Yeah. Yes. You may notice I'm wearing the same t-shirt as the Half Dome hike, don't judge us. <laughs> yeah, so we had pizza, but we didn't have beer after Half Dome because we'd have probably passed out, to be and honest. because last night I got us a pint each and it came at $20. Uh, well, that as well. Yeah. So it's neck cheap wine instead. Right, well, bye. Bye.